Okay, we're working on a little living room job here for a customer, and we've pre-sprayed the carpet already, and we're using the brush on the work first because we want to agitate the pre-spray into the carpet real good, make sure we coat the fibers, especially in the traffic areas. And over here where the couch is at, there's a real dark area where people sit at. And we've filmed this apartment a few times because it, the carpets get really dirty right in here. And uh, it usually makes a pretty good video. We have bad light, lighting today, so we'll see how it goes. Do what? Uh -oh. oh no, we haven't seen, I haven't seen any sign of that. Now with the brush we're not absorbing anything so it's kind of nice because we can scrub and we're still leaving our pre-spray in the carpet. So We don't always do that because we don't have to on every carpet. And this time we're going to try to do that. Now that it's been scrubbed it'll come right out with the bonnet. It'll save a lot of bonnet work. Save a lot of bonnet work. <clears throat> Let me get over here a little more. This is the main traffic area. And this carpet is pretty matted down, so it's already looking a little better with the raising the nap with the brush. So it's hard to see on camera I think, but this is a pretty dark stained area. It's lightened a little bit because of scrubbing it some, but that's the major area we have to work on. It always is on this carpet. Okay, now he's gonna switch over. We're gonna, I'll start back up again when we get the bonnet ready to put down. Okay, now we're starting with the bonnet. Still have the pre-spray down. So start scrubbing out the stains and this will absorb them as well and get up the moisture from the carpet so the carpet will be basically dry when we get done. See if I get good lighting so you can see the nap the carpet's really being restored so it looks nice and almost like brand new carpet again in some spots. It's hard to work, this carpet's hard to work with because it's so worn down. And they have a pet so there's little damages here and there. It's pretty simple to do this method uh, compared to using a portable extractor. You, you don't have to mess with filling it up with water and emptying the wastewater tank and refilling it. And to do this carpet here it would probably take two or three refills of the, of the uh, water on an uh, extractor. And so this is a little bit faster because you can just keep working, you don't have to stop for anything really. And if you get a really bad stain, you may want to apply a little more pre-spray, but otherwise you just keep working it into the carpet. And it slowly but surely just scrubs it out. It doesn't get the immediate results sometimes that you get uh, when you see an extractor on film, but it's a, it's a better overall cleaning because the carpets aren't wet when you're done. The nice thing about the brush is, if you don't use the brush, you can clean with the bonnet, but you have to put more effort into using the bonnet. With the brush, it actually loosens everything up, so when you hit it over the bonnet, when you go over the bonnet, the stuff pretty much comes up on, normally on one pass. Heavier stuff will take a couple of passes, but 
The brush really loosens everything up real well. Makes it real easy. So, well, this dark stain there is almost basically back to where you can't see it anymore. And it's hard to see on camera because we have it's cloudy outside and so it's hard to get enough light in here. They don't have a lot of all the lamps have bulbs missing. So it's hard to get enough light to see. But it's looking a lot better. It's coming out. It'll look good when we're done. Now if we had a uh, if we were going to use an extractor to finish up with, we wouldn't spend as much time on, on the bonnet cleaning because the extractor is going to basically come in and suck everything up. But you can do the same job with just the bonnet. You just want to make sure you finish it with the bonnet and don't leave it where you have something undone. Uh, it's easy. It's a lot easier to just do it with the bonnet most times and just finish the job than it is to try to bring in one more step and add more water and uh, do everything else to flush the carpet out. You just get the way. carpet wetter. Because we get mm -hmm. when we get done bonneting, there's not really anything left to be picked up by an extractor. Because we tried it and it wasn't worth the extra effort. It's just adding an extra step that's not really necessary. Even on a pretty dirty carpet with a bad stain, there doesn't seem to be any advantage that we found in going over and extracting afterwards. If you if you bond it clean it right, you don't need to extract with an extractor. The pad soaks up the dirt and you're done. When you're done with the bonding, if you did it right, you can be just you can be finished. And it'll always have the wow factor when the customer see it. If you do it right. So this carpet's almost done now and it's looking really, really nice. And we've worked for this customer a few times and we've always been able to get our stains out to make the carpet look good again. And so we'll be back in a two or three months probably to do it one more time and it'll have that stain back because there's enough stuff outside on the sidewalks coming to the apartment they can't really avoid stepping in dirty areas. So they naturally track a lot of dirt in here. <coughs> Almost done. <coughs> yeah, when you start to see areas that look like they still have a darkness to them, you just keep going over. Yeah, it doesn't. The it's showing up on camera, but when you move the machine over it and move the carpet in another direction, you see it goes away immediately. That's because it's just a, an effect on camera. Now the people that think you should clean with a bonnet and then go over it with an extractor, if you want to do it that way, you go right ahead. Uh, we don't because there's no need. But some people feel they need to extract after bonneting, and that's fine for them if they want to do it. We feel it's an extra step. It gets the carpet sweater, uh, so it's done a drying process, so we don't do it that way. Now this carpet's old enough that even when you raise the nap with the bonnet, it shows footprints pretty fast, so. This carpet, later today, after it's been walked on a bunch, it's gonna look pretty trampled pretty quick because it's so worn out. But there's only so much you can do with the carpet at a certain point. They, uh, they don't have a vacuum, so. It gets pretty dirty. It's very important to vacuum fairly frequently because the things you vacuum out of your carpet start to break down the fibers and you start to just destroy the carpet pretty quick by grinding that stuff in and moving it around so and the good news is it's done and it's done so I hope you enjoyed well, I'm gonna put the uh, descriptions in the video description below there's going to be links to the auric orbiter and there's, there's the some, bonnet it, it, it's got dirt in it but it collected hair that's down deep in the carpet yeah, we'll give that a good they soaking always, when they, we get home. The bonnet always picks up stuff from the bottom that you don't pick up with a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. I'll put a link to the carpet brush that we used, and I'll put down any other things I can think of that'll help you to understand what we were looking at on this job. But it's pretty simple. Didn't take very long, and the carpets are pretty dry. And uh, I think that's all. Uh, if you if you liked the video, please hit like, and uh, if you have a question or comment, feel free to uh, uh, send those my way. And if you subscribe, you'll be able to keep uh, up to the latest videos as they come out. Because when we put these up, it's going to send you a, uh, a note, so you'll know. And you can come and watch them. And this wasn't a real exciting one, but you know the next one may be a completely uh, black carpet that needs to turn white again. So 
Uh, check back later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, we're working on a little living room job here for a customer. And we pre-sprayed the carpet already. And we're using the brush on the work first because we want to agitate the pre-spray into the carpet real good. Make sure we coat the fibers, especially in the traffic areas. And over here where the couch is at, there's a real dark area where people sit at. And we've filmed this apartment a few times because it, the carpets get really dirty right in here. And uh, it usually makes a pretty good video. We have bad light, lighting today, so we'll see how it goes. Do what? Uh-oh. Oh no, we haven't seen, I haven't seen any sign of that.